What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to learn how to create a reverse reverb effect in Cubase 11 Pro. The reverse reverb is used in pop music and other urban genres as a vocal effect. So let's get started. Our first step is to start off with a dry sample or audio. We have a dry vocal sample here, let's listen to it. I've been talking in my sleep, been running deep, looking for us. I've been playing hide and seek, I felt the heat, but never enough. To get started, we duplicate our audio and create a new track. We'll make our new track a different color so we can tell them apart while we're working on it. Next, we add reverb to our duplicated track. You can use any plugin you have. I'm going to use Reverence, which is a stock plugin for Cubase. Once you have loaded your reverb, you can go ahead and adjust your settings and set whatever preferences you like. Here I have increased the tail and I've also added a pre-delay to my reverb. Let's listen to the last phrase of our vocal sample. Okay, we are ready for our next step, which is to render the audio with the reverb. Okay, let's listen to that. Okay, that's gonna work fine for our example, but I'm gonna trim up this audio a little bit. Our next step is to create a sampler track. Next, we drag in the rendered audio into the sampler control of our sampler track. We then reverse the sample inside our sampler control. Okay, let's listen to that. Since we only need a short section as a riser effect, we shorten our sample using our markers. You can use the faders to help you to make your final adjustments. You can also zoom in to find the nearest zero crossing of your sample. Now we can play out our sample inside of the piano roll. We then render out our event of the sample that we just played in piano roll. And now there's our final sample. I'm going to move our sample next to our original file so we can line up the tracks together and see what that sounds like. It helps to have your snap off so you can move your sample freely. You will have to adjust your tracks a couple of times to get it right where you want it. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. It's off a little bit, but we keep trying until we get the effect that we want. I've been talking in my sleep. 
so my sample is clashing a little bit with the vocals. So I'll go ahead and fade the clip in, and I'll also cut the sample and adjust it to make it fit a little bit better. Okay, let's see what that sounds like now. I've been talking in my sleep, been running deep, looking for us. Subscribe if you like the content or leave a comment to see others like it. Thank you.